what up? It, fuck, what up? Is, what is up, guys? Off we, to a great start, we are, Max. We are <laughs> back. <laughs> Better than ever. We just got done watching Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg's Uncharted. Um, oh. Of course, Tom Holland is to go. Mark Wahlberg is to go. I love his handlebar mustache he has right now. It's pretty sick. I think he had it at the post credit of the movie, but he's just... Mark Wahlberg is the guy. All right, so this movie, um, needless to say, is a, it's a very fast-paced movie. It pretty much get, everything happens as soon as you start. It's not really much time of explanation. Uh, it from the from the get-go, they pretty much meet and uh, they are on their way on this uh, this quest to find this lost gold worth about like five billion. Five, five billion, billion, yeah, at least five billion. It's a small chunk of change. It was a pretty little penny, but I mean, uh, they both risk their life for it, and it's a uh, I, overall it's a great movie. Um, Two guys bonding, uh, start they uh, grow a, a relationship as the movie goes on. It's like a pretty rocky relationship, then it falls apart completely. But then, towards the end, they get it all together. Uh, overall, I, as I thought this movie came out surprisingly well. Um, usually with video game movies, you have really low expectations because they tend to not be that good. But surprisingly, this one, a gem. No, neither of us have played the Uncharted game, so whatever, whatever you gotta say. Well, well, well you don't know it or whatever. Uh, but uh, going into this, we obviously didn't expect a lot, and neither did most of the people. But I think it's a, it was a pleasantly uh, happy surprise of how well the movie turned out. Um, I would say this movie kind of makes me want to play the games. Uh, I don't know about you, Johnny, but oh, fucking four or five of them. Yeah, I think there's a lot of them, but I really did enjoy this movie. The relationships in this movie, as Johnny mentioned before. Basically, see, trust is an issue in this movie. Everyone between uh, Sully, Nathan, uh, Chloe, uh, it's all big trust issues. They're trying to steal uh, the keys at first, um, and they eventually do work together. But at the end, it is uh, Mark and Tom, Nathan and Sully kind of uh, having their character arc at the end, kind of working together and finally kind of trusting each other. Going over the antagonists for this movie, there was Braddock and, like, kind of Chloe. Well, I mean, it was Chloe. She did uh, double-cross, as these uh, thieves do. A whole lot of double-crossing, as we said. Uh, Braddock, I thought it was a pretty weak villain. She pretty much had, like, nothing to do in this movie other than just be an inconvenience. There was, like, zero explanation. I don't know if that's supposed to be something delved on later, even though she dies in the movie. But we all know no one ever actually dies, so she'll probably come back later because they have hinted into more movies. Um... But uh, I thought Braddock was a pretty weak protagonist, but uh, Chloe was, on the other hand, was pretty good throughout the entire movie up until the end where she just got chewed off, basically. So, I mean, I don't really like the uh, antagonist part of the movie, but the relationship building uh, for with Tom and Mark was uh, pretty solid and kind of saved this movie, made it better than what I thought it would or what looked like. So the movie includes Nathan's brother, Sam. Um, they show the young version of him and how he kind of left. And they hint at him throughout the whole movie, um, played by Rudy Panko, the GOAT JJ OBX, at her Banks gang. Yes, sir, John B., where you at? Yes, sir. I, whatever. I thought he was cool. I was happy he was in it. Um, and I like how they hinted at the end, the post credit scene, that he is actually still alive. He is lost, and he is not gone. Which is an important part of the movie, is a quote that he says. Where this movie didn't lack was Tom Holland's shirtless scenes. <laughs> I'm going to pull it up on the screen right now. Oh, fully bricked up. Everyone bask in his glory. <laughs> uh, jokes aside, um, the action of this movie I thought was pretty good. Um, Tom obviously knows what he's doing uh, when it comes to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. He has been doing Spider-Man movies for a hot minute. He's done a couple other movies, uh, but he's pretty much picked up everything. Uh, Mark didn't really do much fighting. He's kind of like in the he background had, a little bit. He did a little bit of pushing and shoving, but he had he had like one or two fighting scenes. But for the most part, it was Nathan Drake's character, Tom by Tom Holland, doing all the fighting, and uh, he sells it pretty well. He, uh, from what I was told by people that have played the games, he pulled off Nathan Drake's moves pretty well. He looked just looked just like him fighting. Obviously, we can't speak for that because we've never played the games, but. Uh, not, we expect Tom Holland to pick up what he's supposed to and play a character as well as he's uh, acquired to. He oh, he just knows what he's doing. I uh, thought it was pretty well. Everything looked good. Um, he, as a thief, has to always find a way to beat people, and he used whatever he did um, on hand to very quickly take people down. 
to probably one of my favorite scenes. I didn't even expect it. I'm not sure if it's even in the game or not, but when they did get the ships in the helicopters uh, up in the air, I thought that was a really cool fighting scene, how they're going back to back. It was like freaking flying pirates in the air. and It was airborne pirates yes, in the Caribbean. It was, it was literally Jack Sparrow freaking flying around. I thought it was really cool. Um, I, I would say as well, like as Johnny said, the action in this movie, it really wasn't corny. Like it was not corny at all. It was not like kind of like your basic action. I thought it was solid. Not too much, not too little. Um, it was just solid all around. No final thoughts on the movie. Not disappointed at all. I thought it was pretty good. It has taken over as my number one movie for 2022. All two movies we have seen for this year. Get some scream. It has taken over. Is it a Tom Holland bias? Yes. Uh, no. 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 All right. All right. I, I got Mark's approval. That uh, is that my favorite movie I've seen so far this year. Up until you know, review coming for that, but. Uh, that's a, that's a later date movie, but this movie overall is pretty good. Obviously, like I said, with uh, video games movies, you expect the least, but we got the best out of this. Uh, and and it's uh, for what they've got going forward, they've done pretty good uh, world building for more storylines to go on. So um, I think there should be more good to come out of this, and I'm excited to see the future as to what's going to happen with this. Never going to say no to Tom Holland content, so we got to look forward. We get to look forward to that. Mark, what are your thoughts? Overall, movie, I thought was great. Um, whether you play the games or not, I think you'll enjoy this movie. Um, and for all those picky nit, picky fans who was not actually to the freaking game, get with the times, old man. It can't ever be exactly like the game, all right? It literally I mean, will never be for any movie. It'd be pretty lame if they copied the movies. You would know what's happening. Literally, you know what's happening. Yes, you're going to be able to, whatever, oh, Nathan Drake doesn't do this, or... Uh, Sully doesn't do this, but I, Nathan whatever. Drake could have been that disappointed. He showed up. Yeah, he showed up in the movie. Yeah, and Mark Wahlberg's character Sully. Everyone's like, "Oh, it's not like him in the game." You know, I don't care. Mark Wahlberg is freaking awesome. I don't care. He did great. He always does great. And I think him and Tom were a great pairing together. Overall, I'm gonna give this movie. What, what do you What do you want to rate this movie? Out of ten ratings. Well, Our is, first ever yeah, rating. Right, right out of the gate. What What's on your head? I mean, I'm biased or not. Strong seven, soft eight. I uh, yeah, I was gonna say like a seven four, a nice seven four. That's solid. I'm giving it a solid seven nine because of Tom Holland. We're yeah. rounding it to eight. It's all right, all right, it's eight. It's eight. Tom Holland all is right. the joke. All right, all right, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Check us out on freaking whatever TikTok, whatever. Please help us. Give us a like. We got subscribe. a link tree. Hit it up. Breaking, Follow us on, on everything. We're trying to make it. We're grinding out here. Please support the boys. I'm begging for shit here, and I hate doing that. But thank you so much for however three of you viewers, all of our friends are the only Love ones probably all. watching this. Yeah. Love you all. Shout out. Everyone. All right. <laughs> peace. Bye. <laughs>